हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट वंस अगेन यू आर मोस्ट वेलकम इन माय यूट्यूब चैनल वाइड लूप रोबोटेक एंड ऑटोमेशन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू कॉन्फ़िगर यू आर ट्रांसमिट एंड रिसीव विद ई एस पी थर्टी टू माइक्रो कंट्रोलर एंड ई एस पी आई डी एफ आई डी ई यूजिंग एम्बेडेड सी सो लेट इस गेट स्टार्टेड स्टेप बाई स्टेप यू कैन सी हियर आई एम यूजिंग वन ई एस पी थर्टी टू बोर्ड एंड वन टी टी एल टू यूज बी कन्वर्टर ओके हियर RX of TTL to USB converter is connected to TX of ESP32 and RX of ESP32 is connected to TX of TTL to USB converter okay so this is circuit diagram it is very simple now go to vs code and start the programming okay let us create here new project go to ESP IDF explorer and new project wizard Right here, project name. You are TX and RX. Okay. Select the directory. Okay. Now select here board is correct, and COM port ten is okay, and choose template. Template app. Click over here. Create project using template app. Okay. Click on yes. Okay. Now go to main file and main dot c. Start here programming. Okay. Close this. Close this and close it. Okay. So first of all, I will include. Free Artas dot h header file. Okay, has include free Artas slash free Artas dot h. Okay, and now I will include free Artas slash task dot h. Okay. Okay. Now I'll include u r dot h. Okay. And I will define a variable care t x data. Okay. This data will be transmitted. So you are okay. Hi, I am from ESP32. Okay. Now declare another variable. It will be RX buffer. Okay. Its size will be one twenty eight byte. Okay. So now I will configure the word. So I will declare one structure. It is already defined. You are config underscore t, and its name will be you are config. Okay, and its member will be dot baud rate, and baud rate will be nine six double zero, and data bit so dot data. Bits. Okay. It will be comma. Data bit will be eight bit. So use macro. You are data eight bit. Okay. Now parity. So dot parity will be none. Use macro. You are Parity disabled. Okay, and now stop bit. Stop bit will be one. So you are stop bit one. Okay, and now flow control. Dot flow control. 
UART hardware flow control disable okay okay and now let us configure source clock okay it will be UART source clock APB okay okay now I will call the function UART param config okay and pass here uh, UART number you can see here I am using UART2 this is RX2 and TX2 so that's why I will I will pass here UART number 2 okay and address of this structure okay now I will call the function UART set pin okay and I will pass here this is UART port okay and now second is TX pin and RX pin then TX pin is 17 it is GPIO 17 and RX pin is GPIO 16 okay and now uh, CTS RTS so we are not going to use CTS and RTS pin so just type the UART pin no change okay this is macro UART pin no change comma and again copy this okay now again call the function UART driver install so UART driver install and here UART port so UART port and maximum rx buffer it will be 1024 and tx buffer will be 0 and another, another thing q size will be 0 and uart q handle is null because of there is no any q handle and it will be 0 allocate flag will be 0 okay so UART configuration is done now I will use while loop it is infinite loop and first of all I will write the data on UART UART write byte okay UART port and data transmitted data so we are going to transmit this data so tx data and its size so str alien okay now we have to include string dot h header okay this data is transmitted now I will receive the data so to receive the data I will call the function UART read bytes ok port sorry uh, port number now receive buffer rx data and its maximum size now I am going to set 128 byte ok and delay uh, it will be uh, tick to wait this is time to wait ok pdms to tick 5 millisecond ok and it will return length ok and 
ln okay so here i will check if ln is greater than 0 it means data is received so first of all i will add null character at the last index of data okay okay now i will print using printf length percent d and data is percent s after that new line len and rx data okay and now flush the buffer okay f flush steady out okay and i will use here a 500 millisecond delay if you task delay 500 okay now code is ready i will just compile this code okay build successfully now i will uh, click on flash the code okay flash the device select here reward okay now i'll open serial monitor now i will open the dock light to see the message Okay, go to comport, comport 14 is correct and baud rate is 9600 is okay, uh, click on start the communication, you can see here it is receiving hi I am from STM32, now I will send the message from this terminal so here okay and I will write here hi I am from PC okay okay and I will send from here okay you can see here uh, it receive data hi i am from pc okay i will click again and again see you can see uh, string is transmitted from the esp32 and received to dock light and again string is transmitted from dock light to esp32 okay so both communication are there both are working properly okay Okay friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you really like this video, so please do like, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching.